So we've collected some cheetah data. This data is about three particular cheetahs over a period of a year, and it's collected their latitude, longitude, their location. And we want to see how these cheetahs move around. Um, we're particularly interested in their home range and whether they interact or not. So we've read that data into Jump, and we're going to show it on a bubble plot. Um, there's a bubble with a different color to represent each cheetah. And if I start to play this through over time, we can see the cheetahs move. But it's a little uninteresting in the fact that we have no context. So what I'm going to do is turn on a background map and Jump. This is actually pulling satellite imagery from a NASA server. And we now have a better view of what the terrain looks like as we watch the cheetahs move. So as the cheetahs move over time, we're looking for a number of things. One is how far they move, what their home range is. And as you notice, the green bubble actually moves quite far. And so this particular cheetah has actually quite a larger home range compared to the other two cheetahs represented by the red and blue bubbles. The blue cheetah actually stays pretty much in a small area. And we'll notice also how they move through the terrain. They don't spend a lot of time on the left side of the picture, which is predominantly just flat, sandy dirt. There's not a lot of areas out there for them to hide, and they don't find a lot of shade. And this particular area is, is pretty hot. Uh, you will see eventually the red cheetah actually is the only one that seems to have much interest in going up the elevated terrain. Um, and the three of them just continue to move around. There's We we see that there's not much interaction between the cheetahs. And their home ranges vary actually considerably.